Wait, am I done? And empowers this white knight on a quest to keep the juice flowing. I don't give two hoots and a holler about flying inside a helicopter. Put me outside. That's where I want to be. On a magic carpet. Back in the late 1800s, there was a gentleman by the name of Michael Faraday. He had a theory that if you enclosed a man in a metal cage and energized that cage at whatever voltage, the man would still live. The voltage would flow around him. It's 75% uh, Nomex for fire retardant and 25% stainless steel thread. And that metal thread means I have a Faraday cage around me. A half a million volts pass over my body, but I can work without interference from the electricity. As long as the helicopter is isolated from ground, we have the ability to bring ourselves to the same voltage potential as the line bird on a wire. Our pilots are very smooth. It's like they can read our every thought. There's such a hunger for electric and rehearsed before, so it's as safe as crossing the street. It's not a job for a hot dog. There's only three things I've ever been afraid of. Electricity, heights, and women. And I'm married, too.
with manual transmissions where only one friction disc with two friction surfaces is used to transmit power from the engine to the transmission. A multiplayer clutch is composed of a series of friction discs that are connected to a shaft. The friction discs have friction surfaces to increase the coefficient of friction. Usually, friction surfaces are made of carbon fiber, cindered bronze or graphite. Steel discs can be found between the friction discs. These steel discs sit interlocked within the basket. The set of clutch discs is often referred to as a clutch pack. In the current arrangement, the friction and steel discs are forced together by pressure. That is, a rotation of the friction discs will result in a rotation of the steel discs and vice versa. However, when the discs are no longer engaged by pressure, the friction and steel discs can rotate freely without any impact on each other. Usually, the discs are engaged by pressure through a set of four coil springs. These apply pressure on a pressure plate that, consequently, applies pressure to the clutch pack. Applying pressure to the pressure plate and the coil springs from the other side will release the pressure on the clutch pack. This is usually done by a push rod. This push rod may be connected to a clutch lever that the rider of a motorcycle can use to disconnect the transmission from the engine. Consequently, power is transmitted from engine to transmission when the discs are pressed together, and it is not transmitted when they are separated from one another.
Phlebotomists, the medical technicians who take blood samples, are getting some competition. Meet VBOT, a medical robot that draws blood. Who be willing to trust your arm to a robot with a sharp needle? A startup company in Miami, Florida is betting that you would. This is a prototype of the VBOT, the first robot phlebotomist. It uses infrared light and image analysis to find the right vein, ultrasound to confirm the blood flow in the vein, and robotics to insert a needle into it. After the patient puts his arm through the archway, an infrared light illuminates his inner elbow for a camera. Software matches what the camera sees against a model built from thousands of vein images looking for a suitable vein. The robot then aligns the needle and sticks it in. The whole process takes about a minute. But what makes VBOT better than a human technician? It still needs a human to start the process, and the idea of a robot drawing blood may be too creepy for some patients. But if you've ever gotten blood drawn and had the technician fail to stick a useful vein the first time, a robot that gets it right every time may be appealing. Mistakes are painful. They also waste time, and time is money in a busy hospital. Currently, VBOT's machine can correctly identify the best vein to target about 83% of the time. That's about as good as an experienced technician. Company founder Stuart Harris plans to work the accuracy up to about 90% before starting clinical trials later this year. Harris will have to conquer the creepy factor, but the effort is worth it. In the United States alone, there are a billion blood draws a year. That's a potential $9 billion market for robot phlebotomy. For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Tecla. Bonjour. Dans cette vidéo, nous allons vous montrer 10 astuces pour vous simplifier la vie. Vous ne savez pas comment séparer le jaune d'œuf du blanc d'œuf C'est simple. Il suffit de casser l'œuf dans un bol et d'utiliser une bouteille en plastique pour aspirer le jaune d'œuf et le déverser dans un autre bol. Votre paquet de chips se renverse tout le temps Prenez votre paquet de chips et retournez-le. Ensuite, prenez les bouts du paquet et pliez-les à l'intérieur. Vous aurez alors un bol pour vos chips, idéal lors d'une soirée barbecue. Un de vos appareils électroniques n'a plus de piles Vous en avez une ou plusieurs, mais pas du bon format Pliez un bout de papier d'alu et mettez-la entre la pile et le contacteur. Et la magie, le courant passe. Vous n'avez pas assez de place dans votre garde-robe Prenez une canette en aluminium et cassez le bout qui vous permet de l'ouvrir. Ensuite, utilisez cette pièce pour accrocher deux cintres ensemble afin d'avoir plus de place dans votre armoire. Vous n'arrivez pas à dévisser une vis car le pas de vis est un peu usé ou que votre tournevis glisse hors de la vis Il vous suffit de placer un élastique sur la vis et ensuite vous pourrez le dévisser sans problème. Vous avez des invités surprises à la maison mais aucune bouteille au frais Prenez du papier de toilette et enroulez-le autour de la bouteille que vous voulez refroidir. Ensuite, humidifiez-la en la passant sous l'eau. Puis, mettez-la au congélateur pendant 10 minutes. Vous aurez alors une boisson bien fraîche à leur servir. Vous avez voulu jouer au bricoleur, mais il est temps pour vous de reboucher les trous dans vos murs Prenez un tube de dentifrice, mettez-en un peu sur votre doigt et recouvrez la zone avec le trou. Vous pourrez enfin retrouver un mur en resplendissant de blancheur. Envie de parfumer une pièce de votre maison Achetez un flacon d'huile essentielle et versez-en quelques gouttes sur un sopalin. Puis frottez-le sur une ampoule éteinte. Il ne vous reste plus qu'à allumer la lumière pour diffuser l'odeur. Vous voulez allumer une longue bougie mais vous ne voulez pas vous brûler les doigts C'est simple, utilisez un spaghetti comme allumette géante. Allumez le bout du spaghetti et vous pourrez alors atteindre la mèche sans problème. Vous voulez remplir un seau mais votre évier est trop petit Mettez votre seau juste devant l'évier. Prenez la pelle de votre balayette et utilisez-la pour faire tomber l'eau directement dans le seau. Si vous avez été étonné par les astuces de 